Greetings guys, Sai here and welcome back to another episode on Improve at Home. Today we're looking at shallowing the golf club, a super important move at the start of the downswing to help you hit greater shots. So let's go. So why is shallowing super, super important and what is it? Well, shallowing is all about keeping that club head behind your body, so this side of your body, until the club head reaches kind of waist high and then it spins out in front of you to hit the ball. Remember, we stand to the side of the golf ball, so we never want that club head to get above the golf ball too early, too high in the air, then it will have to come down steeply on the golf ball and further to the left. Generally, there will be some people that can make manipulations to change path, but as a general rule, we want that club head to stay behind us until it reaches roughly waist high and then we can spin down into that golf ball. But how do we do it? Well, first of all, you're gonna grab yourself a piece of pipe bagging. I've just taken this out of the air and coming behind me, and uh, I'll put it back when we're done. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your backside against a wall and make a backswing and let that pipe lagging or something soft touch the wall. What you're then gonna feel is that pipe lagging stays on the wall. You can hear it sliding down the wall as I turn my body across. Now, what facilitates that movement? Well, it can either be feeling like your, your lead arm, it stays across your chest as you turn, the lead arm doesn't come away from you. Some people might feel like your trail palm points away from you as you make that motion and you keep that trail elbow bent as you turn. It doesn't matter which one of these works, you can use both of them, to be honest. The feedback is, does the pipe lagging stay on the wall or does it come away from the wall? If it comes away from the wall, the shaft angle is getting steeper, therefore it's more likely you're gonna come down and across. So there we go guys, super, super simple tip that you can do indoors. Doesn't have to be pipe lagging, you can use a feather duster, you can use a stick if you're outside against a brick wall, but for this exercise, we did it indoors at home. Five minutes, you could really feel that difference. You get the feedback from the pipe lagging staying on the wall, and you can really hopefully see some improvement. So guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Improve at Home. My name is Simon, and we'll see you tomorrow for more tips. Bye-bye.